Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where it's time for the second video in my series here from Dublin Islands. In this video, I'm going to be checking out Dublin Castle. It's actually over 700 years old and was built by King John of England way back in the 13th century. So yeah, in this vlog, I'm going to be checking it out for the first time. It's actually only eight euros to get in for an adult, and yeah, I've not booked online for this one. I've just turned up here um, at the castle itself to buy my ticket. But uh, yeah. Come and join me as my trip here to Dublin continues. Here we go then. So crossed over the little bridge that you saw there in the background of the opening shot, through the archway and into this nice little courtyard. Look at this. Oh wow, really impressive. And that's the thing, always seeing things for the first time. It's always really nice. And yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Actually over 44,000 square meters, 11 acres. Dublin Castle is set over, including all the grounds of course around it as well. Yeah, this is pretty stunning. Look at the architecture at the top there. The clocks on the side. And this looks like the entrance just over here where the flickering lanterns are. So here's your different options that you've got here. So yeah, it's actually eight euros for a self-guided tour, but you can also get a guided tour for 12 euros there as well. And yeah, there's a look at the other ticket prices, the children, family tickets, and also student tickets available as well. Here we go then, so inside the castle now. Worth putting out that all large bags just need to be put into a locker. Head up this grand staircase here. There I am. <laughs> Yeah, look at this in here with all the portraits. Nice uh, chandeliers as well. Yeah, the locker was free to use just down there at the bottom as well. It's secure just with a password. Yeah, you can bring like small handbags and stuff in, I think, but it's more just the larger bags. Oh, am I supposed to be around this side? I think I've come around the wrong way. <laughs> Let's come around here. So we're here in the state apartments. Tells you here how recently lots of permanent artworks have now made their way here into the collection on a long-term loan. So that's really good. Look at the size of this picture just here. It's absolutely huge. <laughs> look at it compared to the size of the door just there. Oh wow, look at this. All the beautiful golden arches. Not McDonald's. <laughs> Presidents of Ireland, 1938 through to 2018. But yeah, let's look at some of the finishes in here. I like this. And here you got all the pictures of the presidents all the way down the side. Really cool. What a building. Really kind of different to what I was expecting actually, because you really think, oh, castle, I was expecting it to look, you know, a lot more medieval inside here than it actually does. Yeah, there's lots to look at with all the different portraits and artwork throughout here as well. And the buildings are beautiful. Yeah, it's in a better condition than I was kind of expecting. I mean, I knew it wasn't a ruin, but yeah, everything's in a really good painted up condition. Nice fireplace over there. Is that a Wi-Fi router on the floor? I just plugged in. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Continue through into this room. Round here into this next room then now. And as you can see, there's loads of different portraits in here. Some really interesting ones. Dinner is served up there at the top. <laughs> Head on a plate. I do find it quite fascinating actually looking at all these different portraits. Always kind of have done. They've all got their own little stories to tell. And it's a beautiful room. Look at the details on the ceiling there. Just took a long time. 
to do all of that. Beautiful chandelier. A few of them all the way down. Look at this, there's an old picture as well of the state drawing room. Still looks very similar to this day. All the creaky floors as well <laughs> really add to it. Look at that, that's as epic sofa, isn't it? Look at the size of that beauty. Stunning in here, it's a proper palace, isn't it? Wow. All the huge curtains on the side. And yeah, it's a look out to the courtyard. Everywhere we started earlier on. The furniture in here is amazing. Like, look at this. This little four-seater all the way around. It was a different time, wasn't it? Do you find it fascinating coming to places like this? And yeah, it's beautiful in here. Really well looked after. It just gets more impressive, doesn't it? Here's a look in the throne room. Yeah, this dates back to 1788. There's the throne just over there as well. Many a king and queen sat in there over the years. And yeah, all the gold in here, very impressive. Beautiful, isn't it? And really well looked after. Look at that epic chandelier there in the middle. Mirror just over here. That's so, I guess the king and queen can see themselves in the mirror there, right opposite the throne. <laughs> what a remarkable building. This is the portrait gallery just here. We've got a picture of it set up. There's a dining room just here. So you can see all the tables, look at that. A massive banquet all the way down. All the candles. And all the portraits down the side as well. Some nice fruit there. Not real, unfortunately. <laughs> Would have been though, back in the day. Uh, really impressive. I like these little mirrors just over here as well. Look at these. They're really cool, like a fisheye kind of lens on those. <laughs> Here I am. Hey. Not quite as glamorous as the previous rooms, this one. A little bit more plain, but there's still some nice details around, such so as around the doorway edges just there. Which is lovely. Don't know which way we're going here now, left or right. So I decided to take a right first, have a look inside the Wedgwood room, because of the colours of Wedgwood pottery. And the white and blue look in there. More portraits in here. A massive one, look at that. Oh wow, King George III. Oh, squeaky floor. <laughs> Look at these just in here. It's like they're made of stone, isn't it? And just fastened up onto the wall, but no, they're flat. It's just the way they've been painted. Like really cool. Look at that. Yeah, all the way around the edge of the room. Yeah, this is a dead end just here now, so we walk back up this way and continue on. This looks like quite a big room just here. Oh, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, wow. The size of this in here, definitely the biggest of the rooms that we've seen in here. All the mirrors down the side. Look at this, to celebrate the 60th year of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. On the side just there, a banquet in 1897. 
Wow, look at this. This is really impressive, isn't it? What a huge space. I'd imagine they use this for a lot of events and things as well. Looking at the lighting and speakers that they've got around the side. Got a picture just around here as well. Showing it just there. Wow. St. Patrick's Hall. One of the most ceremonial rooms in Ireland. This is also where the Irish president is inaugurated every seven years. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it's still used for really important things, even to this day. Well, after coming out of that really impressive room, made my way back out to the steps that I first went up. And yeah, back outside here now in the courtyard area. Yeah, it took about 30 minutes walking around there. That's kind of what they said on the sign, really. 30 minutes for a self-guided tour, and it's an hour if you go on the guided tour. Giving you the information. But yeah, just gonna have a little look around here now. See if we can see some more of the outside of the castle. Obviously you can tell a lot of it's been extended, refurbished and changed over the years. But yeah, it's in a really good state and much better condition than I was expecting actually. And yeah, of course that section looks more medieval just there. You know, it looks to be a chapel that's on the left hand side there as well. But yeah, we'll carry on around this way and see what we can see around the side. Bear in mind all of this area can be accessed without a ticket. Some work going on just there on what looks to be the chapel. And yeah, around here as well, you can see the older parts of the building and kind of how bits have been added on and changed over the years. And yeah, we've got some beautiful gardens just around here. These look really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna stroll around into those. I saw them just out of the windows when I was inside. And here's a little look then at the gardens. So yeah, a little look there at the castle. There's that courtyard there in the middle and lots of changes being made to the building since that early diagram. But yeah, we're just down here. It's this big round area that we can see just in front of us there. So yeah, let's have a little stroll around and go and see. This looks really nice just around here. And yeah, like I say, you don't actually need a ticket to come around here. All of this area is just open to come and explore. We've got the memorial garden just around here. Yeah, it's lovely. For a peek through just. See, so yeah, it looked like on that image there used to be a moat around this area as well. I look back there towards Dublin Castle. Yeah, I'm not too sure on the colours just off to the left there how that was painted. Don't think it really fits in with it all, in my opinion. But still, it looks very colourful. Got the coach house just here to the left. Another part of the building, it seems. Some sort of gallery, it looks like, over there. There's certainly a lot to see just around here, including these pigeons. <laughs> he's going for him. Guy, he's a massive pigeon. Look at him. Guy, he's just running for him. Whoa, he's off. Doesn't like the camera. <laughs> A nice little look around some of the grounds there here of Dublin Castle. I tell you what, it was beautiful inside there. It was really nice going through all the different rooms, especially the state rooms, and just seeing all the ceilings, the portraits, absolutely amazing architecture inside. And yeah, it was beautiful to walk around. Like I said at the start of the video, didn't really know what to expect. I thought, well, it's not going to be a massive kind of experience walk through, especially with it only costing eight euros. Uh, but I think it was a fair price for what I saw. Uh, walking around overall, about an hour including inside and just around the back there but like I say you only need a ticket to go into the indoor section you can go into the courtyard and also around the grounds free of charge if you are coming here to Dublin if you haven't already then make sure you check out the previous video to this one here on Adventure Sean from the Guinness storehouse had an absolutely awesome time there uh, tried some Guinness of course here in Dublin got to be done hasn't it and also discovered the experience across seven different floors along with some awesome views looking out over the city. There's also one more video still to come here on Adventure Sean from my trip here to Dublin and that'll be coming up in the next couple of days. Uh, having a bit of a walk around the city this evening down by the river, uh, checking out any of the nightlife and yeah just having a bit of a stroll around the city centre of Dublin here in Ireland. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and have your own adventures. See you in the next vlog.